Hi, Super Spruce here, back with another Antimatter Dimensions progress update video. And today, I have made, well, I mean, not just today, but over the last couple of weeks, I've made so much progress. It's ridiculous. Like, it's like entirely entire section of the game was skipped almost. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get right into this. So, like, immediately, I... I mean, not immediately, but you can see over the next couple of days, I actually finally get 5 billion banked infinities and get the no ethical consumption achievement, which is my first ever row 13 achievement. And then I also get, go get another achievement. You're already dead, were you? I, I think you have to do it. You have to eternity. You get to eternity with only first dimensions. And then I did eternity challenges 10, second time, third time. And just basically, um, yada yada yada, <laughs> with a lot of the um, eternities. But you can see here, you see this jump. This is because I um, left it. Basically, I left the computer overnight, just grinding eternities, and I got to one point four million. And actually, I tried to do this this one night, but um. But I failed, and I only got me, like, 150,000. But this got me the amount I needed, so... And what I've been doing is just doing the last three digits of it, because the first four are not really important. This is just basically keeping track of the eternities. Like, it's never even looped, like, from this 284. So, then, I, I finally get infinite eternity points, which is just 1.79, 10, 10 to the power of 308. And this gives me an achievement. And after that, I just do a few more runs, and then this comes. I'm not even sure. I, th I think it has to do with, like, a time study, or or I, I was using an efficient build. But there's a new there's a new color. This blue color is if, I, if there is a very progression-heavy run. I think I've only used this once or twice, this blue color. I go from E330 attorney points to E three hundred ninety one in just five minutes. That that's what the blue color is gonna be. That, that's gonna it's gonna be very rare. Then I do a few more stuff, a few more eternities, be, um because that's because I I can do it and and also the the eternity multipliers and the time studies they're they're the time dimension upgrade is there. There, a lot. There's a lot less of them. Like there's, there's this sort of gap between E three hundred eight and about E four hundred. So, yeah. Then a few more. This is a little bit interesting. Um, turning times ten times four times as high. There's just a lot of colors here. Um, so there's. So when I beat this, I get the achievement for getting, um, for beating fifty attorney challenges, basically. 50 completions of an attorney challenge, un unique tiers. So basically, that's how to do it. You just beat attorney challenge just one to ten five times. Now there's this longer run and this very long run, so I can get when will it be enough? Which is get e twenty thousand replicanti. And with uncapped replicanti, you can do that in about twenty four hours. It wasn't the most efficient. And also, I, I helped. I was at a bit of a wall at this point. So then I I tried Attorney Challenge 11 first time, and first failed, but I think I think I used a different build, and, and that worked. So, And then I go get another achievement for getting just 180 replicated galaxies with only one normal galaxy. And then just a bunch more Eternities. And see what happened. Longer run, so more progression. And what it did here is I actually changed this this a little bit. So like since I get so many time theorems, I, I now count it from attorney points, so the number is a little higher in this row. And it's basically the same thing for a few days. Um, just more and more run, more and more e four hundred, e five hundred, e six hundred, and then I go get an achievement. What do I have to do to get rid of you? Which is get E twenty two thousand infinity points with no time studies. 
then they start doing a little more attorney challenges. Attorney challenges 11 second time and just a, few, a lot more long runs. Wow, it's a lot. I did a lot of, of eternities on November 24th. And you can see there's faster points and slower points, probably because of like getting the time studies on the tree. And yeah, I let. So you can just see what's happening. It's, it's going at a good pace. 11 third time, 12 first time, and this is a little bit weird because it's like this is five minutes real time, but since the game sort of runs a thousand times slower, it's actually in game time it's 0.3 seconds, and you need to do it in less than a second the first time, a second of in game time because it's 1,000 points slower. Then there's this run. Um, it's not as crazy as, as the um, first blue one, but it's still pretty good. Um, uh, I mean, this is sort of, maybe, could just be yellow, but still pretty progression heavy. There's a lot right there. And I keep doing eternities. It's going even faster than before. A couple more longer runs, and then I knock out a bunch of eternity challenges. 11 fourth time, and 12 second, third, and fourth time. So, yeah. And, and then I, I just do a few more long runs. It's going... Even faster, I do 11 fifth time, and then I get another progression heavy run that goes from E1110 to E1167. And then, so I just carry that momentum all the way to E1277, and then decide to um, finally do a turning challenge 12 fifth time and did a first try. So, so you can actually see if I go up here. Or here, you, you can see I, I just I just did the entire thing in green because it's all all complete. So, so then okay, so then it gets interesting. I it starts, I get a bit of momentum, and then it starts slowing down because at e thirteen hundred eternity points, you again see a gap in the time dimension upgrades and the eternity point multipliers. So you start like, like really, I'm um, slowing down, and and then you eventually what what hap happened? Um, I I did this, and it was really slowing down, and then this run, November twenty eighth. This this run got me to time dilation. That's right, time dilation. It was took me fifty minutes to get all the eternity. All the time studies, I mean time theorems. It was it's really close. It was like every, I was counting down the time theorems, like twenty, ten, and then five, four, three. T so, so this is when I I get up to time dilation, and this this may seem confusing at first, but I'll show you what it means. Okay. All all of this. Okay, and also there's a huge amount of colors. So this is just the achievement for unlocking time dilation. So then, so what this is, what D is, is a dilated run, and I'll tell you what that is. And also for this, it's I. This is not eternity points. This is something new called tachyon particles. I'll, I'll explain what this is. But basically, all, what you can see from this is um, basically I'm doing a lot of longer runs these days. I've just been busy, so, and and rose and red now, now, represent dilator runs. It's not an engineering challenge fail, so. Just 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 to make it different, like like in case everyone anyone thinks I have five e five hundred thirty thousand eternity points, which is impossible, in Tamara dimensions. So yeah, I'll I'll show you what I mean by all this dilation stuff when I go to the main game. Okay, I'm on the main game, and you can see where I'm at. Um, and if you go to time studies. Um, this is I. This is my tree. Is this is okay? You may be wondering why I have all of these. This is something to do with dilation, and but you, I'm just gonna show you my my tree right here. And 
this is the time study that unlocks time dilation. Here's a lot more time theorems that are basically useless because I can't get anything because this is way too expensive. So, so this is what time dilation is. It, it, it's it's complicated. I'll, I'll this is really complicated, but I'll I'll tell you what all of this is. So, basically, tachyon particles. This is is producing a resource called dilated time, and with this dilated time, you actually get you basically can get upgrades using it, and also you can get free galaxies. So if you go here, if if anyone was was if anyone picked up on on why is there this plus this plus that normal galaxies, replicated galaxies, and then dilated galaxies galaxies gained from time dilation. And I'll show you what this button does in a second. I'll just first do a regular eternity. Um, get as many of these as possible, as many of these as possible, and then um, just get as many of these as possible. So, so what this does, time dilation, it basically makes it so that you that when you when when you're in this all buffs all the exponents the exponents of all your multipliers are raised to the 0 0.75 power and that is a massive nerf you you can see what this does yeah it it says this it will basically make all the multipliers a lot smaller basically and um, so basically, what what this is is I um this is a dilated run. This is what the red things were, and and what so what this is it's actually it's basically massively nerfing everything, all the multipliers, like like this this thing right here. It says E31,000, but it's really only about E2500. So, it, it really nerfs a lot of stuff. And I know I could be, I could have a better time study tree with, with dilation. I just, one day, I'll, I'll actually do this. I'll, I'll try to figure it out myself. If I can't, I'll just look at the Discord. So, so you just, I just, I'm just waiting a little bit, and this isn't really a lot of tachyon particles, at least off the ones I have, but like, the thing is that if you don't make it past where you got in the last dilated run, it actually doesn't give you any tachyon particles. So, something, it, it's a little achievement to get any tachyon particles. So, I'll just do it right now, and it's going to give me a few more, and it's going to make we get a little more of this and what I can do actually is I can I, I can do a bunch of things I could do either this or that and this is I, I want to show you the more complicated thing which is this this is self-explanatory you spend dilated time to double your gain of it this however basically makes it so you can get more galaxies from the dilated time but it resets your dilated time and your um, the galaxies so I'll show you look this, this is you'll, you'll see and I'm gaining the same amount but you can see now when I reach these thresholds I get two dilated galaxies the reason why it's two not one is is this upgrade case gain twice as many free galaxies this is another and so I'll show you these upgrades Time dimensions are affected by replicante multipliers. So basically, I think what this means is if you go here, um, there's this multiplier. If you raise that to the 0 0.1 power, it, that also affects time dimensions. So yeah, I'm in a normal run. I'm not in a dilated run anymore, in case anyone was wondering. And this is normal dimensions, gain a multiplier based off of dilated time, unaffected by time dilation. Um, so basically, this just gives a a big multiplier on normal dimensions, and when you 
dilate time, it actually doesn't. The multiplier is not nerfed. This is the thing that allows you to get all of these. So, yeah, that's that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and this actually just reduces the penalty when you dilate time. So I think instead of raising it to the 0 0.75 power, it approximately raises it to the 0 0.8 power. So, yeah, and there's, there's two more I have to get. This is looks like a ridiculous infinity point multiplier and this is generate time theorems based off the tachyon particles and this is what's going to make it possible to get these last four time studies which look pretty overpowered because you literally get more time dimensions i've, I've been at like four time dimensions since this series started but i'm going to get a fifth sixth and seventh and eighth time dimension it's crazy and and it's I'm approaching the end game time dilation is the last major thing you really unlock in antimatter dimensions so yeah hope you enjoyed peace out